Okay, so we're gonna be editing this particular picture. So what you have to do is uh, you share this and you add it to LR Lightroom. Okay. Once that has been added, you go into it, open that particular picture. Now always start with light. So under light, you have exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks. Okay. And there's a curve also. So exposure is a way of saying brightness. You decrease it to get less brightness and you increase it for more brightness. Only increase exposure if your image is seriously dark. When you increase exposure, you are losing details on in these positions. Okay. You can only recover details from blacks. From whites, it's a little tough. Next comes contrast. Do not pump up contrast in every image. There are certain images that you need to pump it up for. It makes blacks more black and makes white more white. Okay, so when you increase contrast, that's what happened. It, uh, like would, the contrast between blacks and white increases. So white becomes more white and black becomes more black. And uh, if you decrease contrast, it uh, merges the difference between white and black. So I'm going to increase the contrast about there maybe increase the exposure a little bit let us keep it there now highlights so what do increasing or decreasing highlights mean so highlights are the parts of the images which are highly blown out okay uh, you have three parts of an image you have mid tones highlights and shadows shadows are the dark parts of the image in this image the pants uh, of these guys wearing the jacket of the middle guy that is uh, that those are parts of the shadows okay and the sky, the white clouds, those are parts of the highlights. And mid-tones are everything else, the green uh, grass, the faces. So based on that, you increase or decrease highlights. So if you decrease highlights, see, you're getting more details into the sky. If you increase the highlights, you're losing details in the sky. Okay, so we're going to decrease a little bit. Now if you increase the shadow, look at the guys sitting below. See how it changes. So these parts, all the dark parts of the image, they reveal more details now depending on the kind of image that you're going for you work with it right now i do not need any more shadow revealing so it's fine okay now whites and blacks are very explanatory if you increase the blacks it becomes less black basically so see when you increase it see the hair on their head it is becoming less black and if you decrease it it becomes more black okay and whites again if you increase the whites you're increasing the amount of whites in the image and vice versa now the thing is when you decrease a lot of highlights the image becomes dull so to compensate that usually you increase the whites and you decrease the black a little bit to compensate for a lot of hi highlight decrease and a lot of shadow increase okay so i think i'll decrease the whites in this image a little bit yeah and i'll increase the blacks because i need a little bit more out of it yeah okay so this is for the light and next comes curves okay this is a little tricky you have to understand it as you uh, work with it okay so this is the curve curve line and the highest part of it are the highlights the lowest part are the shadows and the middle parts are the mid tones now you basically aim for an s kind of a curve okay so if you increase this you see the shadows are getting increased it's becoming whiter and whiter okay the shadows are getting lifted so I'm going to lift the shadow a little bit and then to compensate that I'm going to bring it down to about there and I'm going to bring this guy up a little bit. More. See these are the mid-tones. These are affecting the mid-tones. Little lower and this guy slightly lower. Yeah, that's about it. So uh, in this app, if you press and hold the image, it shows the before and the after. This is what we have achieved till now. Okay. This is the light part of it. 